we have compared the A350 against the 787 and 777, and so far, it has proven itself a worthy new aircraft that deserves a spot in the aviation industry. However, will this be the case when we put it up against Boeing's top-of-the-line largest wide-body jet? Let's see which is best, the more efficient A350 or the largest 777X. But before we do, as always, some quick background context. In 2010, as Airbus's A350-1000 was nearing its firm configuration, airlines that operated 777s started to look at a more efficient A350 to replace their older 777s long term. After all, Airbus's largest A350, the Dash 1000, could fly the same route as Boeing's popular 777-300ER while carrying the same number of passengers, all while burning 25% less fuel per seat and per trip with its lighter composite airframe and newer technologies. Needless to say, unless Boeing come up with a competitive product, they could lose many 777 customers going forward. Boeing worked with 777 customers at the time to define a product that would give the competing A350 tough competition and extend the 777 success into the future. After consultations with customers, Boeing launched their response to Airbus's newest A350, their new updated 777, the 777X. the largest widebody twin ever built, were built upon the 777's reputation and success. After all, Boeing's 777 was already flying with many operators across many routes with exceptional proven reliability. However, to increase its efficiency, the aircraft featured new composite wings, new more efficient GE9X engines, and a stretched fuselage seating 40 more passengers than the Dash 300ER which it replaces. The highest seating capacity of 777X models was Boeing's main selling point against the A350. With all this said, can the updated 777 really compete with the brand new A350? And from the other point of view, can the smaller A350 go head to head with the large and mighty 777X? Well, cue the music and let's find out. But before we do, a quick reminder if you haven't already done so, to check out the Aeroplane Productions Instagram page the future home for the latest updates in the aviation industry. Head over there for frequent aviation news updates after this epic comparison by following the link dropped in the description below. Also, if you're new to the channel, a warm welcome and stay tuned for more great detailed aviation analysis and epic comparisons now coming every week. That you may have heard of the bushfires in Australia, an unfortunate situation that has simply escalated out of hand. If you would like to contribute to the recovery process, do consider donating via the links in the description below as a kind deed. Every cent donated could make a difference and thus the support would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, back to this comparison. Starting with performance, the larger A350-1000 has the edge in range, while the larger still 777-9 has the edge in capacity and cargo capability. However, this is reversed when it comes to comparing the smaller variants. The A350-900 flies 8,100 nautical miles while carrying 325 passengers in a three-class layout. The smaller 777-8 which is closer in size, carries 365 passengers while flying 8,690 nautical miles, higher performance than the A350-900. However, the larger 777-9 flies to a maximum distance of 7,285 nautical miles when typically configured in a two-class layout to seat 426 passengers compared to 8,700 nautical miles of the A350-1000 when it is configured similarly to seat 375 passengers in a similar two-class layout. All in all, 
the 777X family offers unique performances, with the Dash 8 being able to fly ultra-long range routes without payload constraints, and the larger Dash 9 carrying more passengers and cargo than any other twin-engine aircraft. Talking about the engines, both aircraft families are powered by their exclusive engine types. The A350XWB is powered by the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine. The smaller and lighter Dash 900 variant is powered by the Trent XWB84 derivative with 84,000 pounds of thrust, while the larger and heavier Dash 1000 is powered by the Trent XWB97 engine with an uprated 97,000 pounds of thrust. The even larger and heavier 777X is powered by General Electric's new GE9X engine, the most efficient and largest jet engine in the world. With its larger fan diameter of 134 inches compared to 118 for the Trent XWB and its newer technologies, this engine burns 5% less fuel than Trent XWB powering the A350, while also producing more thrust at 105,000 pounds of power. All in all, the 777X is powered by a gem of an engine, giving it an edge in efficiency at power plant level. However, when it comes to the actual numbers for the whole aircraft, the A350 simply works out more efficient. Thanks to its lighter new clean sheet composite design with a composite fuselage, the airplane burns 5% less fuel per trip and per seat when compared apples to apples with the larger but heavier 777X. The A350-900 and 777-9 burn around 2.9 litres of fuel per passenger for every 100 km flown but the larger Dash 1000 is 5% more efficient, with a fuel burn of just 2.66 litres per 100 kilometres. As the 777-8 is a shrink of the larger Dash 9 with the same wings and engines but fewer seats, it's penalised with higher cost per seat with 12% higher fuel burn per seat compared to the A350-1000, which with a near 319 tonne takeoff weight and extra fuel tank, actually flies just as far while carrying more passengers. All in all, the new A350 offers unbeatable operating economics in the large size widebody category. Moving on to cabins, this is another area where the new A350 simply cannot be beaten as its airspace cabin sets new standards for large widebody twins. The aircraft has the quietest cabin, the highest ceilings, the largest overhead bins, and the latest and best execution of the new 4th generation in-flight entertainment with a unique underfloor cabling system, allowing more space for passengers' feet. It also has comfortable 18-inch wide economy seats in typical configurations, though airlines can optionally choose 10 abreast with 16.7-inch seats should they favour improved economics. The 777X on the other hand gets 10 abreast standard, though unlike older 777s, Boeing now markets 18-inch wide seats, similar to what Airbus promotes. However, it is worth noting that they are referring to the seat basis being 18 inches wide rather than the entire seat, hence not exactly a fair comparison. Boeing managed to get additional width across the cabin by improving the insulation and reshaping the cabin sidewall panels. As a result, the new 777X has the widest cabin of any widebody twin, measuring 5.94 meters wide compared to 5.69 meters wide for the extra wide body. The 777X will feature Boeing's latest generation of sky interior with a quieter cabin over today's 777s, larger windows, new cathedral-like ceilings with new advanced mood lighting, which combined with a new architecture gives the 777X cabin a roomy look and feel. While the aircraft has larger overhead bins than before, those on A350 are larger still, and the A350 still has a quieter cabin, though the new 777X does feature larger windows. The electronic shading system first unveiled on Boeing 787 is optional equipment for the 777X. 
both aircraft achieve lower cabin altitude with higher cabin pressure and more moist air plus LED mood lighting to improve passenger well-being. All in all, while the 777X has more space, it's the A350 with its elegant and quieter cabin that should be the passenger preferred aircraft. Moving on to advantages and disadvantages, the Boeing 777X is the next evolution of Boeing's proven and highly popular 777 series. It builds on the reputation and reliability records of the 777-300ER while adding efficient new engines and a larger 71 meter composite wing, resulting in lower fuel burn per seat and per trip, giving it a better chance of competing with new, more efficient aircraft. With its higher capacity and unique performance, the larger Dash 9 variant is an aircraft that has no real direct competition from a size perspective, carrying more passengers and cargo than any other wide body twin. However, all this capability is at the expense of efficiency, as newer, lighter twin jets like the A350 or Boeing's own 787 are simply more efficient both per trip and per seat. Besides just being more efficient, the A350 has a nicer cabin, lower acquisition costs, and lower maintenance costs. All of this means that the A350 has way lower operating costs for the airline, while passengers enjoy its class-leading passenger experience. However, should airlines value capacity to grow on popular routes, there simply isn't an A350 variant large enough to compete with the 777-9, and that brings us on to orders. Now it isn't exactly a fair comparison between both given the 777X was launched 4 years after the firm configuration of A350-1000 was revealed to the market. However, just simply comparing the numbers, the A350 received 959 orders while the new 777X series received 344 in total. However, comparing orders in 2019 alone, the A350 has sold at least 60 units while the 777X has seen 38 order conversions or cancellations. This shows a trend in the industry moving towards aircraft with highest levels of efficiency, rather than higher capacity. So then, with all of this said, which of these aircraft is best? Well, as an airplane to replace 777s in today's marketplace, the more efficient A350 is simply the better option for most airlines. However, the 777-9 is a truly incredible flying machine that seats more passengers and carries more cargo than any other competing aircraft, making it a valuable asset to airlines that operate the type. All in all, with its performance that is more adapted to today's market and the highest levels of efficiency, the A350 is well positioned to become the default long-range large white body that the 777 once was going into the future. Do you agree with this verdict? And if you don't, why so? Comment below. Thanks for watching till the end of this epic comparison. Until we meet in the next one, wishing you, as well as everyone, a truly clear sky ahead.